Welcome everyone. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends. But we're going to get into it. As we know, it is the end of Invictus. That's right, June 1st, end of Invictus 2951. We do still have Free Fly to June 3rd. Now this Invictus was quite eventful. We got the tour of the inside, well parts of the inside of a javelin, to see what it was really like. We got to see a Bengal flying around, which was absolutely amazing but just killed people's computers that didn't have 32 gigabytes of RAM. I know this because I had to get 32 gigs. We got to see RSI's new heavy fighter, the Scorpius. And yes, they probably sold a load of them because I brought mine as soon as the sale started. We got to see many ships in hollow form. We also got to see the Aegis Redeemer in its physical form in all of its glory. Now that was something to see. If you didn't see it, I feel sorry for you, but it was so cool to see it. We got to see the Bengal flying around with the Idris. We got to see the Javelin flying around also. We got to see an F8 flying around. We got to see the F7A, which we will never get our hands on, unfortunately. There were a lot of ships for sale this year. There were a lot of concepts. As usual, the Javelin and the Idris P sold out within seconds. We know that the Kraken sold out within seconds, but there were Warp on Javelins still for sale about an hour after the last wave, which I wish I had the money because I would have brought one, but they will be just left till next year. I hope you guys enjoyed the sale. I hope you guys spent a lot of money at the sale. Put down in the comments what you guys brought, but with the conclusion of the sale and Drake Interplanetary coming out on the 29th and the 30th, did they steal the show? Did they have one of the best expos and just ship collections, being able to just see the ships that they had for sale? Seeing the hollows of the Kraken, the Vulture, the Corsair, being able to rent a Drake Dragonfly, Star Kitten and Yellow Jacket, which is pretty cool. I also would have liked it if they let us rent an Idris, but I guess dreams are real and dreams can be free, right? But that's not the end of it. There are other things coming. There are other ships coming very, very soon that we may know of. So as though a lot of these ships may not be out by the end of the year or within the next couple of years, they will still continue to sell. We also know that the Polaris has gotten bigger. We also know that it has been taken off the timeline for being developed but we don't know if it's still there as there is an unannounced ship there. We also got told that the Polaris wasn't limited hull and that you could buy as many as you wanted, which many people did and that a lot of people can't afford an Idris, a Kraken or a Javelin or many other ships. But all we know is there will be another sale next year. There will be IAE by the end of the year and it's all going to be very, very exciting for a lot of people and people will still continue to buy ships and spend money. I hope you enjoyed this. It's been Baron. I'll see you in the verse.